Hey guys, this is Brendan and with Gone Mobile Vans, we're here at our shop in Costa Mesa, California. Behind me is a 2023 high roof all wheel drive transit. We turn this thing into a beast. Big old bumper, plenty of power, lights. Let me show it to you. So this is a 2023 high roof EcoBoost Transit. It's got 310 horsepower, 410 pound feet of torque. It's a beast of a motor paired up with a 10 speed transmission, plenty of power, really smooth. You can tow, you can get out of tough situations. It's a great platform. So on the face of this vehicle, right up front, we've got a brand new Illuminous bumper with brush guard on this thing. It's a beast of a bumper. It's got an integrated Warren Xeon 12S winch with a Factor 55 Ultra Hook on there for the winch. It's a remote and or wired winch control. This thing is a beast. It'll help them get them out of some tough situations back in Kansas. For lighting on the bumper, we've got two Baja Designs lights. We've got some amber and some clear. The amber are hooked up to the standard fog light switch inside. The clear are hooked up to a Garmin Switch Pro that will uh, wirelessly control those lights as well as the off-road lights up on the roof rack. For lighting on top of the vehicle, we've got a KC Highlights Gravity 6 Pro LED light bar. It's got eight bright LED lights hooked up to the Garmin Switch Control. Really easy to control, super bright, it's great light. So as per usual on this van, we went with a Van Compass Stage 2 Topo 2.0 lift kit on here. It gives us two inches up front, two inches in back. We've got some Falcon Wild Peak 265, 75, 16 tires. We've got wrapped on the Method 703 wheels. Really like this combination. Plenty of good traction for both on-road and off-road. Really looks great and we're happy with how they ride. So moving on down the van, we've got AM Auto half slider windows, both on the sliding door and behind the driver's seat. These are perfect fit for the factory cutout on these vans. We love how they look. You can slide them open while you drive, integrated bug screens. It's a beautiful solution for getting some air in your van. A little bit farther down the van, we've got the flare space flares. These have been color matched to the Oxford white color of the van. We've got half slider bunk windows in there, also with the integrated bug screens, also blackout shades from van made gear. So on the top of the van, we've got the Flatline Van Company Safari Rack. This has got the drop front on the front of this rack. Really nice space for fitting in that KC light bar on there. It ties in really nice. On the side of the rack, we've got a Fiamma F45S awning. It's the manual awning with crank. It's the best solution for our, in our opinion for awnings on these vans. Right below the awning, we've got a rigid scene light to provide some scenery lighting here at camp while the awning is deployed. On the back of the rack, we're starting off with some KC Flexera One lights. These illuminate the back area of the van really nicely. We've got two more on the driver's side of the van. On the rear door, we've got an Illuminous tire carrier and ladder combo with really easy foot rungs here to be able to like, climb up and down and get access to the roof rack. And also we added a standard just trailer hitch at the back of this. He's got a gear tray that he'll pop in there for when he goes hunting and stuff like that. So this van came with no windows in the back of this van. So we got hooked up with our friend Will over at Vantech Glass in Huntington Beach. He got us a great deal on these factory looking well tinted windows. They fit perfectly in here and caps off the back. On the top of the rack, we've got two 100 watt solar panels. They're mounted on the passenger side of the van to give you as much free deck space as possible. In the front of the rack, we've got a MaxFan 7500. And on the back of the van, we've got a Nomadic Cooling X3 48 volt AC unit. It's one of the first ones available in the 48 volt variety that works perfectly with our EcoFlow power kit system. All right, guys, that's it for the outside of the van. Let me take you inside and show you what we got in there. In the cabin of this van, this has got the Sync 4 HD screen. It's got all the touch screen controls for all your climate control, things like that. It's got the 360 camera view. So when you're backing up into a space, you've got the top down view, which is really helpful. Really clean solution for uh, navigating as well. It's got cross traffic alerts as well as your side sensing system as well. So we added two aftermarket swivels for the front of this. We went with uh, amazing auto swivel seats really solid they don't rattle they don't chatter they're a really great solution for giving swivels to a non-factory base like how they work and when they're swiveled around it really makes a nice living room feel inside the van so for the galley in this van we went with a 36 inch lost highway doorway galley all aluminum construction really lightweight and sturdy this houses an isotherm dr85 fridge this is a drawer style fridge that pulls out you got easy access from outside the van and inside the van. It's got an integrated freezer in here as well, so you can make ice cubes, keep your ice cream frozen. 
plenty of space for all your goodies in here. Really great refrigerator. So on the top of the galley, we've got a nice aluminum powder coated countertop with an integrated black stainless steel deep sink here. It's got a nice cutting board in here for when you're chopping up your veggies. It's a deep sink that gives you plenty of space for storage for when you're doing dishes, things like that. We got hot and cold water here at the galley, as well as the shower in the rear external shower as well. On the galley, we've got 110 power here, so you can plug in your induction cooktop, whatever else you need for household power. We've got 12 volt connection here for other 12 volt accessories, and we've got USB and USB-C here. We've got the pump switch for the integrated water pump, and the next switch over is for the gray tank, which you can flip that and it'll automatically drain the gray tank at a appropriate location. And we also have got a drawer here above the fridge. This is perfect for your utensils and cooking supplies, things like that in this drawer. Really solid solution, that solid latching solution. These things don't rattle at all. As part of our integrated 60 inch bench seat here, this is our wrap-on trekker toilet inside the Lost Highway toilet box. We've got nice cushions. We've got some uh, material on here to keep the cushions in place really probably the best solution for having to use a toilet in your van is that wrap-on toilet. It's a really clean way to handle your waste. You don't have to go dump it out afterwards, things like that. It's a great solution. So attached to our bench seat here is our Lagoon swivel table. On the tabletop, we've got a trifold bamboo table here. This is in the carbonized bamboo, which matches the upper cabinet doors. Really a big space here. You can swivel it around to accommodate seating. Everybody in this area can actually utilize this table for drinks, playing cards, things like that. It's a great workspace for getting some work done while you're at the beach or up in the mountains. When you're done, you can just swivel it right out of the way, lock it into place. You've got your full access all the way down the van again. So right next to our lagoon table is a power port here. We've got USB-C as well as quick charge USB 3.0 right here. A little voltage meter as well, but it's a great location for charging your iPad or your computer at that location. One of the highlights of this van is the amount of storage that's actually in here. So this is one of the storage boxes, 42 inch storage box, plenty of space for the window shades, for camp wood, for whatever you may need, a couple of camp chairs all fit in here. This is just one of several different storage locations. For the overhead cabinets in this van, we've got the custom Lost Highway cabinets that fit perfectly the transit platform. These are bamboo doors latching, locking open. We've got a 28 inch cabinet up front and a 52 inch cabinet in the back. My personal use case is all my kitchen supplies, things like that go in here, dry goods. Most of our clothing, bedding, things like that will go in this area right here. Nice little um, separation between the two. They don't rattle. The doors are really nice and quiet. Positive latching, no need for latches on these things that don't move at all. They're really great. So as part of our standard interior package, we've got our composite subfloor topped with a nice two tech two finish flooring. Our subfloor is three quarters of an inch thick. It's a foam and fiberglass material. It's waterproof, it's dimensionally stable. You can screw fasteners into it. It's not gonna warp and it's not gonna get damaged if any water gets on it. Really great solution and some nice insulating properties. For the rest of our interior package, we start off with a sound deadening material that gets applied to the sheet metal all inside the van, wheel wells, everything. On top of that, we've got 3M 600L Thinsulate in there. We stuff it into all the cubbies everywhere we can to give you some great insulating properties. On top of that, we've got our quarter inch Baltic birch panels wrapped in an eighth inch foam padding and then wrapped in the marathon fabric. This is the charcoal fabric, one of our most popular colors really resilient, holds up well to dirt and stuff like that, easy to clean, and it's a really forgiving material if you scuff it, things like that. So for the ceiling in this van, we went with our standard treatment that we use. One of the cool things about working with us is you get to pick your colors and your pattern for your ceiling. This is a nice plank version here with a couple of dark colors that really make it pop. It's kind of a stark contrast, but it really looks good. Our control panel for our EcoFlow kit controls our ceiling lights our, and the rest of our exterior lights. It's a really easy solution for be able to monitoring incoming and outcoming power of the system here. Really a nice solution to be able to control everything for your power system right here. So for the climate control systems in this van, we've got a Wabasto STC 2000 gas heater. It's plugged into the gas tank for the fuel system. It's mounted underneath the passenger seat, provides plenty of warm cabin air for the van. Up front, we've got a Max Air 7500K fan. This has got the remote. It's a fantastic fan. We really don't build a van without it. Further back in the van, we've got a new Nomadic Cooling X3 48 volt AC unit. It's got 15,000 BTU of cooling capacity. 
awesome system that works at perfect with the 48 volt power that comes out of the EcoFlow power kit. We also have a Scirocco fan on the back of the last cabinet, which swivels and rotates wherever you need to, just if you need some air movement and you don't want to have the max fan or the AC yelling. So for the bed in this van, we went with the Lost Highway tall fender boxes. It integrates perfectly with our power system and water system in this van. We've got a Rome Rest trifold mattress that's been custom made to our specs to fit our flares and our bed system here. So it's 80 inches long and by 60 inches wide, it's really a queen size bed in this van. So when you're ready to fold the bed out of the way to get access to the shower or get full access to the rest of the van, super easy, mattress just folds up, tucks up and out of the way, stays right here on this side. You can remove the bed panels, really easy. One, two, three, now you got full access all the way through the van for bikes, for a full sheet of plywood, wherever you may need in here. Ratchet strap up here to keep the bed in place while you're driving if you, if you so please. Really, really nice solution. Additional storage for this van, there's in the tall fender boxes, you got boxes on either side. Both of these and lift up, you got a ton of storage, plenty of room for bedding, gear, recovery gear, whatever you may need. Just a boatload of storage in this area. You got both on both sides of the van. So for the power system in this van, like I mentioned, we have an EcoFlow power kit. This has got 10 kilowatts of power in this system. We've got two five kilowatt batteries in here, which is equivalent to about 800 amp hours. Plenty of power to run that AC for days and whatever else you may need. On the passenger side of the van in the tall fender box, we've got the integrated Tetra van shower pan. This drops down. This is your integrated shower system here. You can stand in the shower pan. You've got the shower wand in here hooked up to the hot water system so you got hot and cold water inside shower curtain hangs from the roof you got a really nice enclosed internal shower and for the water system we've got a 24 gallon wheel well water tank from northwest conversions it tucks in here really nicely with our shower system as well all the plumbing is really easily accessible pump valves to be able to drain the tank if you need to all that good stuff really easily accessible right from this panel all right, guys, that's it for this tour of this 2023 high roof all wheel drive transit adventure van. Hope you like this kind of content. If you do, please consider subscribing. Hope to see you on the next one.